Hey, what's up guys? I did a whole recording and um, I have to redo it again because my mic wasn't on. Amazing. Oh, God, what a waste of time. It's actually super early right now. It's 6.40 now, but when I did my first recording, it was 6.30. Uh, the reason why I'm up this early is because I have to go to the gym. Gym opens up at 7, had some time, so I thought I would just pop in here quickly and make a quick video. Um, I guess I want to talk about, and this, this is going to be a super simple video, I'm not going to be doing any drawing, I'm just going to be showing you guys what um, this trailer that I made that I'm actually super proud of, because um, I'm just super proud of it. It's a very basic animation, but um, that's why I like it, is because it's so basic. And uh, just, I'll explain to you. Uh, I think I'm going to title this, How to Deal with Tough Deadlines, or something like that. Yeah, so let's just show you what I have. Uh, anyway, it, this is um for this is an animation for a promo that we're having for our game that um, is launching tomorrow. The event isn't launching tomorrow. This um this animation is for that event that's happening in a couple of weeks. But um, the game we're launching is um like uh, what is it? A turn-based action kind of game thing. I'll put it in the link in the description anyway. If you guys are curious, I uh, really appreciate you dropping by and checking us out. But um. Yeah, let's uh, minimize this thing. So, the concept was, well, the name of the event is called Dawn of the Guardians. And so, the concept was, uh, we're going to have our main character. She's going to be looking at the sun going down, hence Dawn of the Guardians, get it? I know, pretty clever, right? Unfortunately, when you have a day to do something, you don't have a lot of time to conceptualize. You just kind of have to make do with what you have. So, that's what I came up with, and here's my drawing. Very terrible drawing, very uninspired. It wasn't beginning, um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't happening right off the beginning, but I knew the concept. And the idea was I needed to um, paint a scenery, and I can't paint. Like, I, I don't do backgrounds. So this was another problem that I had to overcome. But I can do characters really well. So at the least, I can get a really good back shot of a character holding a sword. But... Um, Knowing that I couldn't paint, I had to really rely on things that I was really strong at. And this is what I came up with. Something like this. So I had to really dial down on the on graphic design and um, my composition. So those are two things that I'm, I'm very confident with. This is the landing page of the animation. It actually starts off a lot closer. Let me break it down for you guys. So what I was saying before was I suck at painting. I can't do, um, I can't paint. A lot of people can't paint. If you're a character designer, some people, you know, they are painters and that's all they do. And if you told them to do character design, they probably couldn't do that. I'm the opposite. I do character designs. I do awesome weapons and swords and muscles and stuff like that. But when you ask me to paint anything, I am just completely useless. So what I went with was silhouettes and shapes. Um, as you can see, I also wanted this kind of rolling clouds, parallaxed in the background type of deal. And all this is just a brush, just a simple Photoshop or Clip Studio brush. Just run it across the screen. I wanted everything to be really flat, kind of silhouette -y, But I wanted the silhouette to have definition as well, kind of just to give the impression that there is texture in there. Keep it from looking really dull. So that's what I did. I just ran a brush through it. So I color picked the background, ran a brush through it, stuff like that. Um, so you can see here, this is also just a silhouette. But just to give a hint of texture, I, I painted in like wires and stuff like that. Um, and I thought that's very effective. Uh, the sun is just a circle. The background is also just brushwork. Now, I'm strong with character. That's where I feel that I, that's where I felt that I could have um, put some more effort in. So that's what I did. I, I just drew the back of this character. Her name is Bitsy. I wanted to give a bit of animation as well, so I separated the hair and the arms and the sword and everything like that. So in After Effects, if I had time towards the end of the day, that would give me the option to kind of put a warp effect on it, just to give it some kind of movement. And that's what I did. And so the camera starts in like this, it pulls out like this, and then eventually it lands on this page here. And I wanted to separate everything. Everything's in layers. So in After Effects, you can actually put everything in a 3D plane and move a camera through it. And that's what I really wanted to do. The title wouldn't be there right off the bat. Um, it would pull out and then you'd see the scene and maybe I'd have like the, I don't know, some background, some machinery, some humming of machinery. And the music would start to swell and then it would just pop. And then the, the, the fonts would just go boom, come in like that. And that was the idea pretty much. 
and um, I was I'm, I'm actually really like I said before I'm actually really happy with the way it came out because um, it was almost effortless <laughs> I did it quite quick and it's been a while since I've done any animation at all like um, it's been about two and a half years or something like that or I can't remember it's all very cloudy to me but um, it came back relatively quickly After Effects is an amazing um, program to kind of do very um, you can do very simple but also very advanced effects and animations in it but um, yeah anyway um, I guess what I wanted to say was sometimes a client or a boss is going to give you a job that just seems almost impossible to do. Um, but instead of, instead of immediately thinking, I can't do that, figure out ways how you can execute it, but utilizing your strengths and never overcommit on something. And I, I'm guilty of this. I've done this in the past as well, where I've overcommitted and underdelivered. I used to draw a comic book and I burned so many bridges doing this where in my mind I thought that I could I could do the task but when it came down to it I just I just couldn't because I was too ambitious with my with my thoughts I was I was trying to put the best frame like I was I was too picky with the frames and the shots and stuff like that in in the end it just made the book really really late and in the end it, I just dug myself a hole where I had to match that level consistently and it be just it just became unattainable so don't do that I know it's hard sometimes maybe some of you guys are in a job right now where you're like yeah I could do it and then by the end of it you're like oh my god I have one day left to do this thing and it's not working out this is I'm you know it's I probably shouldn't have said I could do it that's actually better is if you told your boss you couldn't do it right off the bat than to commit to something and and then fail at the end or not fail but like under deliver so um, <clears throat> And I'm guilty of that still to this day. I'll tell my boss, I'll be like, yeah, I can totally do it. And then when it comes time to uh, to deliver it, I, I just hand in something that I'm not really happy with. And now they're office people. They don't know the difference between like something good and something bad. So most of the times they like it. But deep down for me, it's, it's a bit soul crushing to hand in bad work. <laughs> um, I think a lot of you guys can relate to that as well. If you're, um, if you're going to school or if you have a job and, and you've done this, I'm sure you've all done this before because I've done this like hundreds of times. But anyway, um, I'm just going to stop talking now because I actually got to bounce. My gym is going to open soon and I want to be the first one there because I hate working out with, when there's people around me. Um, I'm just going to stop. And uh, this is, yeah, this is video number four. I'm so excited. I'm, so, I'm really proud of myself, actually. And um, these are actually fun for me to do as well. But anyway, here we go. Let's roll the, vi let's roll the video. Let me know what you guys think about it. Okay, bye.